Welcome to this QuickBooks Online Tutorial for Beginners 2019. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And in this video, I wanna go through how to add subtotals to invoices and also how to uh, show and enter customer discounts on that invoice, okay? And, and the reason I'm doing both of these together is because I wanna show you, okay, first, how do you show a discount uh, on a certain subtotal of services? And then if you have additional things on top of that, products or services you sell, and you don't wanna do a discount on those, I wanna show you how to show that on an invoice, all right? So first things first, we've gotta set up the discounts, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to your chart of accounts, all right? So I go to the gear icon, I go over to my chart of accounts, and I wanna make sure that there is a revenue account that is called discounts, or courtesy discounts, or whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so in, in this uh, QuickBooks sample file, We've got discounts given, this is an account. You may not have one of these, and if you don't, you're gonna go in and you're just gonna basically set up the account, okay? It's an income account, the detail type, discounts, refunds given, and then you can call it whatever you want. You wanna call it, uh, you know, courtesy discount or, you know, friends and family discount, whatever you wanna call it, okay? Now, the reason we're setting up an account for this is because we want to be able to track this separately so that we know how much in discounts we're giving. All right, so very, very important you set it up. It's a revenue account, an income account, and you can call it discounts given, courtesy discounts, whatever you wanna call it, all right? So first, set that up. All right, now second, what we're gonna do, we have to go to our items lists, okay? The products and services. If we go over here, we're going to see that uh, you've got to set up an item that is a discount. Okay, so in this sample file, there's already this courtesy discount item set up. Okay, so let me show you how this is set up. All right, so it is a service. All right, so when you set it up, you've got the options of inventory, non inventory, service, and then there's a, a bundle uh, option. You're going to choose service. All right, so it's a service item and let me go back over here again okay and uh you're going to call it whatever you want to call it name courtesy discount uh friends and family whatever you call it you don't need there's no skew there's no category uh it you do want to you don't have to but to put in a description down here that will show up on the invoices automatically okay so this one we're saying this is a courtesy discount we're saying the sales price is zero and then the income account is gonna to go to that discounts one that we just set up, all right? So discounts given, okay? This is not taxable. And then we're gonna hit save and close, okay? So when we go to do an invoice, all right? So let's go and go ahead and do this. We'll go to invoices and we're gonna to go to new invoice. All right, so we're gonna fill in the information here. Let's say that this is Dylan Solfrank, okay? And there's, you know, certain things that we build this customer for. Let's say there's certain things that we did. We're going to add, uh, you know, let's say that there was, okay, let's say we had some concrete work and it was $3,000. And then let's say that we had some uh, installation work. And let's say that, you know, there was uh, five hours of that. Okay, and then let's say that, uh, let's say there was some pest control, okay, and it was $35, okay? So when they get their invoice, they're just gonna see these line items, $3,250, $35. So if you want to subtotal these amounts, okay, to show on an invoice, you simply click add subtotal, okay? So it's gonna say subtotal 3285. All right. So if you want to give a discount on these services for whatever reason, okay, you want to do the subtotal first. And then what you can do is you go here to the item, you say courtesy discount. All right. And it's going to show up the courtesy discount. You can change this description. And let's say that this is negative 250. All right. So you'll see here it subtotals the amount 3035. All right. Now, if there's an additional item that you want to bill for, you don't want to give a discount for, okay? You can say gardening or whatever the item is, 
and let's say that there were, you know, five weeks worth at $25 each week. Okay. So now it's going to add this item in and not give a discount to all these items. All right. So it'll subtotal the invoice down here. Okay. And show the total amount due. All right. So at this point, then, you know, you send the invoice to the customer and uh, get paid for it. Okay. So what we accomplished here is uh, the first thing is you want to set up an account and I want to save and close this so I can show you. Okay. If I go to my profit and loss, so we first set up a, an, an account in our chart of accounts that shows the discounts. All right, so you'll see here a line item discounts given. It's going to show up as a negative. So it was important back on that invoice to enter that discount as a negative amount. So it reduces the invoice. All right, so on the profit and loss, we're showing 559. And you'll see here Duke's Bass, or I'm sorry, Dylan Soul Frank, 28 invoice, $250 discount. All right, so we're able to now track the discounts directly in our financial statements so we can see how much in discounts we're giving, okay? You know, a lot of people will just directly offset it against a, an income item like design income, but it doesn't give you a true picture of, okay, here's what I built and here's the discounts I gave. Because if those discounts get out of control, you'll kind of, you know, it's very hard to know uh, just by looking at your financial statements. All right. So that's it on adding subtotals and giving customer discounts. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, your comments, leave them below. Uh, also would love to have you join me at the QuickBooks University where, uh, you know, you can ask all your personal questions uh, when you purchase the tutorials and become a member of the QuickBooks University. That website is qbuniversity.org and I look forward to seeing you there.